Well, we start the hour in Libya, where Egypt says it has coordinated airstrikes with Libyan warplanes targeting militants and munition stores in the eastern city of Derna. Egyptian jets attacked Derna on Friday, just hours after masked gunmen killed 29 Coptic Christians traveling to a monastery in the southern Egyptian province of Minya. Egypt has carried out a number of airstrikes on its neighbor since 2011. The city of Derna is home to the Shura Council and is said to be a training ground for Al-Qaeda militants. A spokesperson for the Libyan National Army has hailed the attacks a success. This is the second round of strikes in two years. We also coordinated with the Libyan military to target main military camps, weapon storage facilities, and also operations in the west of the city of Dana. About 12 of our soldiers were injured in the operation and were moved to hospital. We've heard that there were some who were killed and buried in graves at Al Haisha and Al Fataye. The strikes were very strong inside these military camps and were carried out with excellent ammunition and with advanced machinery. Well, Egypt has spoken out in defense of its airstrikes on Libya. Egypt's foreign ministry says the planes targeted terrorist locations in the Libyan city of Derna. It maintains the strikes are in line with the United Nations Charter on Self-Defense and the UN, Se uh, UN Security Council's resolutions on terrorism. Well, let's bring you more on this. We're joined live from Cairo by CGTN's Yasser Hakim. Uh, Yasser, indeed, Egypt defending these strikes, uh, but some saying that there's a sense that these airstrikes are perhaps, well, rather asking whether these airstrikes are effective uh, in helping decimate the militants behind recent attacks, or perhaps they're just a show of force by the government in Egypt. Well, this is a question many uh, have asked uh, whether it's a show of force or not. But uh, according to the foreign minister uh, statements today, uh, he met with uh, the Russian foreign minister and uh, he said that uh, those attacks are on camps uh, related to uh, militants who have uh, taken this attack uh, uh, last few days on the, um, the Egyptian Copts, but also on previous attacks in Egypt. So it's not saying there are the ones responsible for the latest attack, but also attacks that happened before, and that uh, it will only be effective, what I think it will be effective uh, with coordination with the Libyan uh, National Army, in that uh, th it should be followed by ground troops uh, that would continue uh, the onsurge on these camps to make sure that uh, the attacks, the air raids, are effective. Air raids alone will not uh, finish off the, 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 the uh, assignment, but it needs ground troops as well. Egypt would not go in with tr ground troops, but the LNA, which is coordinating with Egypt, is the one that would free these camps and these areas from militants after the air raids uh, uh, take on their toll on the uh, groups, on the terrorist groups. Mm -hmm. And yes, sir, there, ha there have been some reports that the Egyptian military may also be considering similar strikes against uh, similar militant positions in neighboring Sudan. What more do we know about this? Well, the Egyptian president talked about uh, not Libya, but he just said that uh, Egypt would target uh, militant camps outside Egypt, uh, inside and outside Egypt, camps that prove to be uh, training militants who attack Egyptian uh, targets or Egypt, inside Egypt. So he did not say Sudan, but he did mention Syria and Iraq in the speech. Uh, he did not say he would attack Syria and Iraq, but he said that uh, there are camps in, in Syria and Iraq that train militants who then surge or try to infiltrate into countries like Egypt. Uh, Sudan could be a different case than Libya, because in spite that Egypt is actually uh, complaining that there have been uh, training camps in Sudan that trains uh, groups uh, that are affiliated to the Muslim Brotherhood, the outlawed Muslim Brotherhood, such as the uh, Muslim Brotherhood arm, political arm, or uh, sorry, military arm called Hassam. Uh, and this, uh, according to Egypt, uh, the, the militants there have been training in Sudan. But uh, uh, Sudan uh, is different in that in Libya, Egypt had the uh, backing of uh, the LNA, the, the Libyan uh, parliament, the, uh, the accepted, uh, even the vice president of the presidential council in Libya, uh, they all accepted Egyptian uh, interference or Egyptian air raids. In Sudan, it will be different. It will not be accepted by the Sudanese leadership. So no uh, no action will take place unless there is coordination with the Sudanese leadership. So I think it's a different situation. I don't expect it to take place with Sudan 
unless there is an agreement by the Sudan president. Mm. And quite interestingly, this takes uh, place in the context of uh, reports of a cancellation of the Sudanese foreign minister's visits to Cairo. What's the latest on that front? Well, Egypt uh, announced that it, is a wait, it will coordinate to, to try to set a new appointment. Uh, obviously, there has been tensions between both countries uh, recently uh, concerning uh, Sudan is saying that uh, uh, Halayb and Shalatin area, which is in Egypt, uh, belongs to Sudan and has been asking that there would be an arbitration on that or that it, they would uh, take over the, the, the area. Egypt says this is uh, part of Egypt's uh, borders and Egypt's sovereignty is not... Uh, it, it is part of Egypt. So this is a, a border issue between both countries. Egypt also accuses uh, Sudan of, of harboring um, the leaders of the outlawed Muslim Brotherhood uh, and also, like I said, uh, their milit the, uh, militant arm, which is uh, Hassan Group. Uh, and th there has been uh, escalation. Uh, visas have been established, re-established between both countries for traveling. It's Egypt and Sudan had no visa requirements to travel between both countries. Now it's been established, which shows uh, there is tension between both countries. And these issues also trade between both countries has stopped in certain agricultural products. Uh, there has been a problem there. So these issues should have been discussed in the meeting uh, between the Egyptian and Sudanese foreign minister. The Egyptian foreign minister was in Sudan last month in April, and uh, there was supposed to be a follow-up meeting now. Uh, they didn't talk about cancellation. They're just talking about uh, uh, postponement. And due to, uh, as, uh, as the Sudanese counterpart has been saying, is he did not come because of internal issues, nothing to do with the Sudanese-Egyptian relations. But this will be uh, clear uh, in the next few days. All right. Well, thank you very much for that update. Yasser Hakim joining us live there from Cairo.